Okay, another video blog. This time in the comfort of my own room, room slash studio, if you can call it that. Um, plus, it's hands free. I got a little stand, little doodad here. It's a car stand, but it works. I got it on my desk. Anywho, um, just want to do a quick video blog here. Uh, just saying, I actually um, did upload my very first My Little Pony Friendship is Magic song. And not in terms of like playing the guitar or anything, I just like me actually like a remix, an actual song kind of thing, not just like playing over. Um, and I'm very happy with that. Um, I like the show, I love the music. Uh, I think the music is just, just great, catchy, and that's actually what I wanted to do with uh, the recent video. You can check it out, check it out in, in the annotation right in this corner, right here. Yes. <laughs> um, anywho. Uh, this video blog, I'm actually going to be talking about a comment I got on a, by just a Google user. No name or anything. Um, uh, one of my songs, uh, not, not a song, a remix, uh, which one was it? Oh yes, um, it was for um, uh, Utopia, which was originally done by Kyle Ward. You can actually listen to the, um, my remix of it right over here. Um, the remix was just a trance mix. Okay, and this guy's comment was just to say if he gave it a three star rating, and his comment was uh, make it in make it into a dubstep remix, and you and you have something. I'm like, okay, it's a trance mix. I wanted to do a trance mix. If you don't like trance, why bother even rating it in the first place? I I just reported it as spam because it. Technically speaking, it was spam. Here's here's my here's where I'm coming at. I make music that I like to like to make. Really, I, the spirit of an artist is just create music they like and then just share it, and other people who like it would like it. Uh, my one problem with with his comments is the fact that I'm not a dubstep artist. I don't do dubstep. Um, and the main thing is, is like, I'm not a huge fan of dubstep. Uh, yes, I've listened to plenty of songs that are, are dubstep, and I enjoy them, because they're not all, I'm just like, is that all they do, is just take each other's bass sounds, just like, and just drop the bass right there, and just like, with the wubs and such. I mean, it, it, it just all sounds the same. You can play one dubstep song and have like a playlist of 20 dubstep songs and I won't be able to keep track of how many songs there are because they all sound the freaking same. And that's really one of the reasons why I don't quite like dubstep. Is that it all sounds the same. Remember when techno was the, the, the huge thing that was coming out? It all sounded the same. And then... Oh, and then it, it grew to where other artists can actually just make their own tr techno or trance songs and they don't all sound the same. You can you can easily recognize them. Um, unfortunately, this is why I don't quite like dubstep because on a majority, they all sound the same and I'm just bored with it. It's kind of like Dragon Force. You know, if you ever heard one Dragon Force sound, it's like, oh, I like this, and then you listen to all the others, it's like, they're all the same. Although Dragon Force has gotten actually to the to where their recent um, songs that they've released, they sound different from each other. That's what I like. I like dubstep artists who actually make, do different things with them. I don't, I don't always want them to be the same type of rhythm, the and it's just like, it, it's boring. So that's the reason why I don't really do dubstep. I'm not really much of a dubstep artist. It's not my kind of genre. I, I'm, I don't hate uh, the genre per se, really. I just don't like the artists that make them all the same. It's just making all the sound the same. I don't like it. So, and I like more bouncy happy kind of like songs, like like my recent uh, Bab Seeds remix. I made it bouncy and happy, even though it's a song about a bully. <laughs> um, brain fart. 
Oh uh, yes. And uh, occasionally I will dip into like the trance pool and just make a soothing kind of like melody. That's the kind of thing I was going for with um, Utopia Trance Mix. Make it into a trance. And slow, mellow, really just like soothing. Just listening to it like do whatever. Not just like party up and like Wah! Um, but yeah, the the comment the guy left, really, um, and I just wish, I don't know if there is a way to actually, um, because this comment was on Google Play, so, just, I never mentioned that, well, you probably figured out because I said Google user, my music's on Google Play, I've always advertised my work if it's on Google Play, so you can download it to your i, um, Android phone or even your iPhone if you have Google Play on that if, or just go into the use it through the web browser anywho um, but yeah that's my kind of thing I don't like again to recap I don't hate trance mu music as a genre I just don't really like all the majority of all the songs sounding the same that's what well, that's my beef with um, dubstep. I mean, I've heard plenty of good dubstep songs that don't sound anything resembling other than just the wubs um, that that goes around that people are calling them wubs. Wub, 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 wub. Um, and I understand there are characteristics to a genre, but change it up. Don't make it all the same. Anywho, I'm coming up to um, seven minutes. I think this is a, a long enough um, vlog. Um, so, yeah, see you later, oh, oh, and, um, what was I going to do, oh, yes, I am going to be working on another, uh, Friendship is Magic song, I'm thinking about doing, um, Raise This Barn, yes, I, and I'm sure a lot of people are just like, having a little bit, hee hee, giggle thing, because it sounds like Racist Barn, it's a racist barn, why build it, burn it, <laughs> it's just typical English, okay, it's just, not everybody has to, be able to enunciate really quickly. There are people who can actually enunciate like that FedEx guy. He's like talking about like slow down, man. I'm f but he doesn't need to slow down. I can understand each word he's saying because he's enunciating very fluently. Seriously, that guy's the best English speaker there is. I'm not really good at. I haven't even mastered English yet. Um, but anyways, coming up to 8 minutes now, so I'm going to end this right now. See ya.